Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh above the iron Hi guys, hi friends, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel guys, welcome back to another video So guys, please, if you're new here, thank you for being here Like, share, comment and subscribe, put on a post notification bell, oh, yeah so whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified. And to my day ones, my oldies but goodies, as I always say, you know you're good over here and I appreciate you a trillion time. So big up yourself, enough respect, and enough love. I'm here to give you a little story time, guys. A little story time. Guys, there's a lot of things in my head. A lot of memories, great memories. A lot of times ups and downs and all of those wonderful things yes guys so I'm here to let you know about this story of when I um I came here to America yes so um, let me get ready up for you guys so yes guys um hmm how I get how I reach here in America guys I um, I don't want anyone to come for me and I am putting out my story, my business. Well, to me right now, it's not really much of a business because everybody had gone through it. Anyone who is trying to come here to America, not not everyone, but other people who had um, gone or went through what I had you know, been through. So it is what it is for me right now. So. So I came here, I had, um, I have had my visa. The girl have, did have her visa, guys, my 10-year visa. So I didn't come in the US illegal, yeah? Cause I get it stamped in my passport to be here. And I used to be going, coming and going back and forth. So. I was in Jamaica and I was working. I was in a good job. Yeah. You girl always be working. Very independent. So I was working. Mm -hmm. And while I was working, yeah, I have my visa and I was saying to myself, hmm, you're here working in Jamaica and I have my kids at the time. Yeah, there, living in, in my own place, my apartment where I pay my rent. Well, not really apartment, because it's kind of really different. I want people, somebody else who live in a rent, where we pay rent a month time. And I was working. The pay that I was getting, is, it was good. It wasn't bad. It can help me make ends meet, pay my bills, um, buy food, buy clothes and stuff. But I I needed, you know, something more. Some I want other experience. I want to go. I want to travel. I want to experience other things. And I had the opportunity, so why not do it? So, um, a girl, I don't want to say her name, because I don't think I should, because a lot of people watch my channel, watch my videos, and a lot of people know me, and, and I don't really want to say people's name. So, I'm going to call this girl, um, I would say Trudy. Yeah, so nobody don't want to come for that name there, Trudy. Cause you know everybody, a lot of people in Jamaica name Trudy, but I'm gonna give that girl name Trudy. So Trudy introduced me to something because I have my visa, you know. Trudy introduced me to something, and I was working and I was thinking about it. Um, you know, going to work, going back home, doing my thing. And when I thought about it, I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, because I thought about it, pray about it, and I made my mind up and I said, I'm going to do it. So I went ahead and talked to Trudy. Trudy explained to me what it was. So Trudy said, like, oh, you have your visa and you can't travel. She said she can get a little work for me over there, over here. So I said, okay, sounds good. And as I said, guys, I think about it. And um, I went ahead and I told her I'm ready, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So I get my money 
buy a plane ticket and when I when I bought the plane ticket it, it wasn't a two-way it was a one-way because guys me I come in home me I get work so I was gonna spend around say I was gonna come and work for say five months five months or three months yeah and then I would go back home that was the plan so I buy the one-way ticket to come here guys when I bought the one-way ticket the ticket was the flight was all the way in Montego Bay and guys I'm coming from all the way in the country which is Portland so to to, to go to Montego Bay from Kingston would be so hard for me to get over there but we have a airport noise in the background so we have the um, Kingston, um, the airport in Kingston, which is closer to me, yes. So um, because it, the flight was cheaper in Montego Bay, I took that flight. But I have to take the, um, I was going to say very own, um, what's the name again? I took um, the transportation. Not for the express, guys. I, have to, I had to take the not for the express from New Kingston. Because at that time I was living in Kingston, it's not like I was living all the way in Portland, in country area. So I would have to, even if I was living in, in, in the country, I would probably like stay at one of my family house or somebody I know, spend the night and then early morning I would just go ahead and take the, um, get, catch the, the bus. So, um... <clears throat> So I went to the area, the place where they parked in New Kingston and you know, do the thing we book or the, the, get the, 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 pay, do the payment, sorry guys, me above trouble because I'm trying to remember everything. Make the payment, I had to reach there um, at not, not for the, to catch the bus at around say five, I have to be on spot because they have to pop the bus and get everything ready so we can you know head down to Montego Bay so I had to prove that that way yeah. anyways boom bang bang flash fast forward Edra come and come in America and you know I I came and the first place I fly I flew was um here in Fort Lauderdale. Anyways, um, I had to take another flight to Ed where I was going. Should I say the state? I don't really want to say the state. But anyways, yeah. I take the take another flight. I had to stay somewhere. I had to spend the night somewhere and then get out the next morning to catch another flight to go wherever I was going. So I was there. I went I reached where I was going, where I was supposed to be working. I got there, it was okay, but when I went there, I had to stay somewhere else, like a, like a motel or somewhere, and then, oh my god, guys, that place was so cold, the place was cold as hell, that was the first time, you know, witnessing so much coldness, like, guys, and when I had to shower, there wasn't any hot water, it was just cold water guys it was so cold and i had to show because i didn't there wasn't any eater or nothing in there so some people see them don't know where you go through when you come out far you know anyways i showered so um should they tell me so some people are from some people is gonna come and pick me up like the next morning so i said okay because i was so excited you know you come here you know, you're getting a little work and you know so you're going to work your money and you're gonna go back home and sort out your family and stuff like that because i said that i had to leave my kids here so okay they came in the morning picked me up and they took me to the place where i'm gonna be working guys i was so excited and happy about it oh my god because i was you know getting a new job somewhere else new opportunity guys i was so overwhelmed and the people they were so good and nice to me they bought me um breakfast they 
it's like they interview me they ask me a few little questions yes guys because maybe i was so excited <laughs> oh my god but anyways um they took me to the area where i'm supposed to go i'm gonna be working so when i went there i saw i saw um other people other persons that you know who go, go who get the opportunity just like me and i was so excited i made friends and um all the good things then but anyways we were there working guys working then after um like say few like i was there for like maybe two months working guys and everything was good i could be, i could be able to send back money home to sort out certain stuff and all of that and guys while we were working there for the two months they get some they have some other people working into a other in a different state guys and the per one of the per one of the people or one somebody from wherever them have them staying guys because i don't want to call any name get in a trouble you come here to work to make your honest bread and you come here and i pick fight with people you come, you do your work, and you go back home. You don't need to be in any problem with people, right, guys? That's how it should be. Anyways, this person, I don't know what gets in them head. They're going to have conflict with people. I don't want to say what it is because you know how YouTube are. They don't want to hear any kind of miscellaneous or whatever stuff on here. Get, in a, get involved with police. And guys, the time here, I was it straight. We never have no fear pass. Me should do our work. Thank God we can't talk about it now. Lord Jesus, I shouldn't be working because I was underneath the table. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that. I was underneath the table working guys and this person was just the same as me and you come here and you're trying to make life better and yeah I'll make work well with people you're yeah, getting a problem with people anyways they were going to work in the morning because they have a transportation that takes us back and forth anywhere at all they have you in the state they have their own vehicle they don't want transportation and take it back and forth so if you're going to work you don't have to worry about nobody then when they come they pick you up they carry you they drop you off guys the person that was in trouble with other people they were going to work on a bus guys i'm gonna get to a bus now and they get in they they were driving to work and uh, them other people, police, stop the vehicle and they ask for that person because even if you're in there and you don't have certain things, they're not gonna ask for me because you didn't come for me, they come for you, the, the person. Anyways, they take the person out and they took her, like them take them away wherever guys could you believe that that person out of out of them mouth or them mouth because i have a lot of people here who is not jamaican so maybe you don't understand what i'm talking or my language but that person couldn't hold them mouth and say nothing they have to say all sort of things about the people in business say or they're not going down alone if them are go down everybody have to go down with the purse with them i don't want to say because the people them have people who don't have certain credential working for them lord jesus christ guys we in the state that i was in and they in their state get everybody in trouble guys immigration 
Santo. Ini kuda Santo kahawi. Guys, we are feeling like Ota. We are feeling the answer. We are feeling like a wee in the answer. You see, if I see when answer run out of this, when you wake up answer, so they run mad mad all over the place. That's how we are feeling, guys. We couldn't believe it. We, we we were at the place working and we hear we heard that um we have to be careful because then people been looking for us because they heard about this and heard about that because somebody had done something and there that's the reason why so the person had say stuff so guys when I was at the place working I said to another girl said listen I am not staying here. I am not staying here because, first of all, I came here to work and I don't have no papers. Me shouldn't be here so I work. First of all, I may not have that. The only thing I have is my visa. I mean, I make them send me to prison. I mean, I come and make them deport me. So you know what? I am leaving this place. Guys, they were like, why are you so afraid of Freddy? How are you so afraid of Freddy? Tell me that they have me. I'm leaving. And I left and I went to the um wherever they had us, they, they let us stay. And when I was there trying to pack up my stuff then, guys, guess who me see I come? Them same one coming up. Oh, hurry, hurry, we have to go, we have to go because the people them say immigration come on and look for you. <laughs> <laughs> guys, they say yes, man, that for the me tell you. I told you guys that I am leaving. I'm not gonna stay here for them to come and corral me or hold me and put me in a no cell or send me back to Jamaica in a no bar or we don't need to in the year say when time them deport you. You, uh, you can't come back here. So listen, I am leaving. So then come home and we'll pack up and guys, we have to be on the road walking. We don't know what to do or where to go. Because what? Wherever we were, we don't have any family or no friend close by. So we have to on, be on the go with your bag drop on the road. <laughs> you want to see us with the suitcase on the road pulling it? Like we're homeless, guys. Oh Lord, Father Jesus, I give praises to you. Guys, we have to be walking on the road like we're homeless. And a joke thing, a serious thing. So, the people that, um, <clears throat> That we were working for or with, they came and saw us on the road and said, "What are you doing? Um, we get, we have somewhere for you to stay." As somebody else was getting mad and said, "This is not, this is not acceptable because they have us working and know what we're, we're supposed to do. Where can we go? They need to put us somewhere in, um, to stay. Blah blah blah." And they call them up and they they let us stay somewhere else for the night or you know. So while I was there. I have a friend and I call her and say listen XYZ and they say boom bang bang when I say that you guys must know what it is I'm trying to cut it short they book a flight for me and I and they said to come and guys the next day I'm out I leave I don't stay them other one they stay over there and find other jobs I'm like, you guys are crazy. They stay there, find other work, and work for a certain time, and then they leave. Guys, I was so afraid of this immigration thing because I don't want, I didn't want to get in no trouble. I don't like trouble, guys. I stay far away from them kind of stuff thing there. So whenever I heard that they were after us, and they even came and knocked on the door that we were, in the house that we were on the door pong, pong, and we had guys when i heard that i tell them i'm out i'm leaving as i don't want to get in trouble because i work too hard 
to get my visa in a my passport and for me to lose it just like that I said hell no I'm leaving so I was smart enough to leave and they stayed I couldn't I couldn't go through that guys if you're there if you come a foreign and you're not straight and you're working it's hell you have to be looking out of your eye like when like you're on something that's all you have to be looking because you don't know who is who and you do you can't and not even can say certain things to certain people because a lot of people see you come here and they might gravitate to you as well and they might set you up so you have to be careful when you, if you come here and you know you don't have certain certain stuff together you have to be careful but guys I didn't stay I leave and and start out myself because uh -uh, I'm not the type of person who's gonna sit down and wait and ponder and this and that. No, I get out. So, mm -mm, the immigration thing and me don't, I don't feel good about it. Yes, guys, if you made it this far in the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And tell a friend to tell a friend. And also, please come back again, because I have a lot of story to tell, you know guys, but sometimes, you have to just hold with certain things, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, <laughs> bye. <laughs>